West Country, a bit Australian, a bit Australian, a bit West Country, a bit Australian. So I really like the idea of the empty, vast, sort of tangled landscape because it's this unsettling imagery. It, I don't want it to be everything to be clear and I don't want it to make sense. So it, it's a cold, misty day on a hill in Dorset. And the photo that's put in the middle of it is a sunny, bright day in Australia. And I'm thinking he'd never imagined himself standing on this cold hill in Dorset. And so I'm physically putting him in it and then thinking about my response to him being there. She's fine with it. So she's seen once where I've painted over his face and she's, she doesn't mind at all. But I think what keeps it on balance for me is that I feel there's humour underlying the way that I approach it. So therefore I can kind of put this layer on of like making my point, but making my point with a bit of ambiguity or humour. She feels like it's sort of an act of love looking at a photo so closely and trying to match it so closely and really thinking about it as I do it. Like with this one, I didn't realise that he looked actually as vulnerable as he does until I painted it and then I really noticed the way the shoulders were and the hands. I loved the image but I didn't know why I loved it and then it becomes apparent once I get the paint on there and I think oh then I really understand. I definitely know it's my family but I don't have to know who is who, who is who, 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 who is who, who, underneath the paint. So that's me as a baby, um, on a beach. I imagine it's on one of our epic camping holidays we did for summer. So we had all the equipment for going camping with the tent, plus we had the caravan as well. So when we got to places where it was too rough to take the caravan, we'd head off just with the tent and we'd end up in places where you would see no one. You'd be literally in the middle of nowhere. I mean, it was really amazing. I, I have no fear about it and no sort of worries about it, but it was it was actually quite extreme, I think. I think even for Australians, it was quite extreme. You know, there's obviously, there's a lot of roadkill and places like that. So you'd see like these huge animals like kangaroo or an emu or something that's roadkill on the side of the road, like a big, big animal just in the middle of nowhere. and. It was so strange, really, for a kid, because it wasn't about other children. It was about family and it was about traveling. So it was really like, like you're a unit and, and you're going to be in the middle of nowhere. But the unit is always a bit complex, isn't it, in itself? A family unit isn't a simple thing. So you've got this sort of complex relationship, which is a sort of in the middle of nowhere, nowhere. <laughs> and there's no nothing else for it to bounce off against. <laughs> this is your fun. You know, no, 
no other stuff but nature actually to play in. So it was um, it was great. All of that, I have very good memories of it because I actually really like being in the middle of the bush on my own, and I have no problem with that as a holiday, as a family holiday. And I liked, you know, I liked being able to be set free as a kid. You could just run around. We were let, we were set free all day to go and do whatever we wanted. We were sort of encouraged, probably, to not be around. So there was actually a great level of freedom from a really strict strict upbringing that was quite good, I think, for all of us. So we were just swimming and playing and discovering. And I would go walking for the entire day and come back in the evening. Or So as a kid, you don't mind, do you? Because you're a kid and it's great fun and you're on an adventure, but you sort of look back at it as an adult and you think, okay, <laughs> you know. I don't know if I'd do the same thing. Well, we end up, so you could make some money on the way, we'd end up in the most isolated, weird little towns that were kind of full of quite strange people because people get attracted. People that don't fit into society get attracted to living in these strange places. And so they were like really isolated, like mining or building train lines or something like that. And it was just purely people were there to make money and they were there to get away from people. And I think that's why I go looking for pockets of uncontrolled nature actually as a photographer I'm sort of hunting out the little bits and pieces where I feel like it's taking something back or it offers a feeling of being out of control that's quite important actually so now when I step into the bush I get a bit freaked out by it because I'm so used to there being civilization around me nearly all the time. On an aesthetic level, I love wildness and vast nature and I love the feeling that you get from all of that. And I love being able to tap into it when I go back to Australia and I miss it when I'm here. Even though all of that's going on, you still get used to your environment. You just grow to belong to your environment over time and you can't avoid it, I think.